another video i hope everyone is good and happy and healthy and in today's video i'm actually taking you grocery shopping with me hi adam <laughs> yeah so we're it's sunday and it's grocery shopping day and i'm going to take you along in the japanese supermarket show you what they have show you the prices and then you guys can remind me in the comments um the price difference between the items in jamaica and here so first things first we're getting our bicycles because as i said in previous videos we ride to the grocery store it's like five minutes or so so yeah that's what we're going to be doing now all right let's go shopping and guys don't even mind my glasses it has um what they call it tint or something to, to block my eyes from the sun but look at my outfit for winter I got my Uggs on, some heat tech, some this, some that, some gloves, some everything, and I'm still freezing. Wearing a short skirt. Yeah, like I just realized I don't have pants for outside, I only have skirts. Most crucial element <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's go though, let's go. Alright guys, so this is Seria, you remember the dollar store I mentioned in previous videos, Seria. And then right next to Seria is our supermarket, Fresco. So remember, I'm not sure if I gave you, I'm so out of breath. The, um, the story when I said I left my stuff in my bicycle. So these are our bikes, they have bicycle parkings um, in Japan because bicycles are a thing, it's a mode of transportation here. And yeah, I left my stuff in the bike and then I went over to Seria and then she was watching me. You guys know that story, but yeah, that's basically it. So we're heading inside. Adam is getting a trolley. And this is how small the Japanese trolleys are. You get your baskets. And I can't talk inside the supermarket. I have to film secretly, so the rest of this will probably be a voiceover. I'm just showing you the wine aisle here. So that's where you find your wine, your rum, and your beer. And then onto the better stuff. That's peanut butter. Yes, keep it peanut butter for um $548 and Nutella for $378 plus tax. Remember, the Japanese yen is similar to the Jamaican dollar. So just think about buying peanut butter for $600. And those are what the Japanese bread look like. And I did not see the cost right there. I think it's about $150 for 8 slices of bread. So yeah, very, I think for 8 slices of bread, very reasonable. I buy 2 packs normally, so that's what, 16 slices. And some of, the, some of the time, I don't even finish them. They end up getting the junjo and the whatnot. <laughs> because <coughs> the Japanese bread, they expire faster. Alright, so now we're in the fridge. I'm getting butter right here. 
and these are really just different kinds of butter to be honest i just pick up the cheapest one because i don't know which one is low fat which one is what because it's all in japanese and i don't understand the language i was just asking adam if that was a stick of butter because i needed a stick of butter for a baking recipe that i'm going to be trying soon and it was actually cow's butter made from cow's milk i'm not sure i trust that and those are just different types of cheeses shredded cheeses and so on so yeah i mean the supermarket it has a wide variety of stuff for you know japanese supermarkets and i generally get everything that i need these are just pre-packaged foods that they sell in supermarkets so if you're really hungry and you don't want to be cooking you can just come and grab something to eat this is the Japanese um, kind of menu I normally do not buy these stuff because I mean all kinds of people walking coughing all kind of things I don't know if germs getting on these things I eat in that those are just fried foods yes and they also sell pre-packaged like pastas and mashed potato as you can see there in the fridge bottom yep and right here i'm just getting some chicken nuggets yep and guys i forgot to make note of the prices i apologize for that i was just shopping away the next time i do a haul i'll be sure to collect the prices as i go along because i really can't read the receipt when i get it back so these are chicken pieces uh, the wings are usually sold separately from the legs and the breasts and so on. I've never seen whole chicken in the supermarket. And this is a nice little view of what inside is like. These are ramen and cup soup. These are coffees right here. Different kinds of coffees. I am a coffee lover. I usually go for decaf. So, yep. Different juices. And snacks like the Oreos. Japan is very famous for biscuit like snacks. It, there are hardly any cheese tricks as we are used to back in Jamaica. So, yeah. Alright, so here I'm showing you some mackerel or some canned fish or something like that. Uh, here is where they have the general tin food. So, mackerel, tuna, all kinds of other fish and stuff. Um, that's corned beef. The corned beef is pretty expensive, 400 and something. I don't eat the Japanese corned beef because it's very stringy and I don't know why corned beef should be that stringy. I'm not used to that. On this aisle, we are now looking at some cereal, some cornflakes. Yes, and this aisle is just snacks. Snacks and uh, what else is in this aisle? I can hardly... See, I'm trying to keep up all right these right here are the Japanese version of flour well not the version but these are flour in Japan it's like $218 plus tax dried fish I don't know who eats dry fish but they do and condensed milk that's what the condensed milk look looks like pancakes down there on the bottom shelf they call it hot cake mix those are just some tin fruits like fruits in a can yeah and what am i seeing there coconut sugar this is the aisle where you find vinegar and so on so like all different types of vinegar lime flavored regular flavored all kinds of stuff i generally just get the lime flavored because i season my meat with lime juice and vinegar or lemon and vinegar so having both in one is very good and around here is where you find the produce items so like your yam and your irish so that what i'm pointing at right now is actually the japanese version of white yam and you know yes you have your seafood and pre-packaged vegetables and so on i'm looking at mushrooms uh ginger that's a big ginger right there string beans garlic greens yes cabbage pre-packaged vegetables that you can just buy add your mayonnaise and you're good to go fruits more string beans 
Yeah, and as I was saying, guys, the grown produce, these garlic though, they look like they could um plant. But yeah, this is generally what it it looks like in the Japanese grocery store and they they have the produce in the supermarket so in Jamaica normally we go to the supermarket and we shop and then we have to head to the market to buy like the broccoli and the yam and the potato but everything is actually in stores in the supermarkets here in Japan one-stop shop all right so yeah, as you can see I was showing you some broccoli for two hundred dollars I'm not sure if broccoli cost that much in Jamaica I think it's pretty expensive by the way yes and those are some pears some avocado and they're really small and I can hardly find ones that are good like when I spend my money and buy avocado over here I end up throwing it away because it's no good it's no good and that was some raw peanuts yeah raw peanuts and that is the freezer and I'm picking up some fries it seems while checking my list so I do go into the supermarket Jamaican style with my grocery list and this is where we are checking out on our first run to the grocery store we picked up a lot of stuff and I will actually film a, film a haul showing you all the stuff that we got but yeah in the Japanese uh, supermarkets you they have a self-serving cash machine so I don't actually have to speak to anybody but even if I do it's still pretty easy because the money comes up on the screen you give the cashier the money they give you back your change you go about your business and another thing is that in Japan they don't have bag boys as we call it in Jamaica you pack your own bag so if you buy 50 bag worth or something in the supermarket well, you're going to have to stand up as you see me and Adam here. We have to be packing our own bags. So, yeah, you decide. We only have two bicycles and four carts. So, we are restricted to four bags per grocery trip. So, yeah. Round one. Round one. Load up the bike. We have another trip. One more trip. Alright guys, so we just got home, put down those grocery bags and now we're back at the supermarket for round two and this time we're picking up household items like a tissue, dishwashing soap and all that stuff. I have to be careful because we don't want to show nobody likes to play it. Alright, so yeah, round two, let's go! What you're looking at now is some garbage bags in Japan. We start our trash and there are different types of bags for different kinds of trash. And in this aisle, it is generally just kitchen products, so mugs, uh, foil paper, dishwashing soap, and all of that. Those are dishwashing soaps that you're looking at now. Sponges, cling wraps, uh, foil paper, Ziploc bags, and all that stuff. So I'm just really loading up my trolley with uh, those things. My favorite part of grocery shopping is picking up household items I don't know I just love to buy bleach and dishwashing soap it makes me feel like my house is really getting you know cleaned so yeah we were just well I was just Adam was the cameraman here he's the one behind the camera guys we're all loaded up again round two completed Time to go! Alright guys, so that is unfortunately the end of today's grocery shopping uh, haul experience. I mean, I'm going to actually film a haul where I show you guys exactly what we bought. Um, or what we buy on a monthly basis here and my Christmas wreath is still up on my door I keep forgetting that it's out here Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed seeing in the Japanese grocery stores and I mean if anything Seemed strange to you comment them down in the comments below And we can talk about it and of course remind me of the Jamaican prices 
please because maybe well not maybe i have forgotten you know so yeah i'll see you in the next video which i'm about to shoot right now guys if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to get notified of future videos or when they get posted all right see you in my next video bye <laughs>